Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start Tutorial. I'm Laura from TheBusyBeePost.com. If you like today's tutorial, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. In today's tutorial, I will walk you through the steps of entering a simple and a split transaction into GNU Cash. And most importantly, which transaction should be your very first transaction. Let's begin. A business transaction represents the movement of money among accounts. Whenever you spend money on business expenses or receive money earned in your business or transfer money between accounts, all of these actions are referred to as business transactions. Examples of business transactions are paying a business bill, transferring money from savings to checking, buying office supplies, withdrawing money for personal use, and depositing income. The chart of accounts represents the different types of business expenses and income you can expect to encounter in the course of your business. When you first start using GNU Cash for the very first time, one of the first transactions you should be entering is the opening balance. You only have to enter this transaction one time when you first start using GNU Cash. The opening balance should reflect the ending balance of your last business checking account statement or the newly deposited amount if you have recently opened a new business checking account. To enter a simple transaction into New Cash, open up New Cash and select the checking account register. In the chart of accounts window, click on the triangle next to assets account to open up the sub accounts then current accounts and double click on checking account to open up the checking account register transactions are entered into GNU cash the same way you would use a checkbook register in the first field you enter the date of the transaction let's say on my last bank statement which ended on January 31st, showed I had a $500 balance. By default, the current date is displayed. To change the date, click on the drop down arrow to bring up the calendar and select a new date. I will select February 1 by clicking on the date. Since that's the date of my next statement, which is when the $500 is still expected to be in the bank. When you move to the next text box field, the calendar automatically closes. The number field is optional. You can add a business check number here if it applies. The description field describes the transaction. Since this transaction is an opening balance, I will enter opening balance. The transfer field is one of the most important fields. A transfer in a double entry accounting system, such as GNU Cash, is an exchange between at least two accounts. Therefore, a single transaction must always consist of at least two parts, the from account and the to account. Since I'm in the checking account register, I need to select which one of the chart of accounts this transaction applies to. Since I'm entering the balance in my business account as my opening balance, in the transfer field, I will click on the drop down arrow and when the menu opens, I will select the equity opening balance account, which is what this transaction applies to. In the deposit field, I will enter an opening balance of $500. Next, I will click on the enter key on the toolbar to record the transaction. Then I will click on the save tab on the toolbar to save the changes. Entering of the opening balance transaction is complete. To close out the account register, window, click on the X across from the title tab to close it out. 
Back on the chart of accounts window, you can see the changes that was made in the account register. The opening balance and assets have changed to reflect the $500 opening balance transaction. And the status bar also reflects the changes. The net assets now show the business owns $500. In this next step of the tutorial, I will be talking about how to enter a split transaction and the difference between a simple transaction and a split transaction. Let's begin. In the previous tutorial, I entered a simple transaction. In GNU Cash, a transaction with only two splits is called a simple transaction since it only involves the current account and a single chart of account. An example of two splits in the previous tutorial with the opening balance transaction of the $500, the two splits involved are the checking account and the equity opening balance. Every transaction in GNU Cash has at least two splits, but a transaction can have more than two splits. A transaction that involves three or more accounts is called a split transaction. The need for three or more splits in a transaction occurs when you need to split either the from or the to account into multiple transaction accounts. For example, I have an invoice for business items I purchased for a total of $70 from Max Office Supplies. The details of the invoice consist of two business expense transactions, three cartons of copy paper and postage stamps, which will be entered into two separate accounts in the chart of accounts. Now, it doesn't matter if it's an invoice or a receipt, the method is the same. Let's look at some of the advantages of entering the transaction as a split transaction. Think about this for a moment. When you receive your business checking account bank statement, a $70 purchase, such as what I have from Max Office Supplies, will show on the bank statement as one transaction without any breakdown of the details of the transaction. When you do a split transaction in GNU Cash, it will not only show you had a $70 transaction, but it will also show the details of the transaction. So we can say, Entering a split transaction will serve two purposes. One, it will show the full total of a multiple transaction, which will help you reconcile your books with ease. Number two, you can record the details of the transactions for your bookkeeping records so that when tax time rolls around, you will be able to clearly explain the details of a lump sum transaction expense as seen on your business banking statement. Okay, let's see how it all works together. To begin entering a split transaction, with GNU Cash account screen open, click on checking account to open up the checking account register. In the first field, enter the date of the transaction as shown on your invoice or receipt. Next, use the tab key on your computer keyboard to tab to the withdrawal field. Here, I will type in $70, which is the full dollar amount of my invoice. I entered it as a decrease by entering it into the withdrawal field. Next, I will select split on the toolbar by clicking on it. GNU Cash splits transactions by inserting a line into the transaction for every account that is affected. And your job is to record the the amounts involved on each line. By clicking on the split tab on the toolbar, the program automatically added an additional two lines to the register. On the first line, you will see the checking account listed in the transfer field. And in the withdrawal field, the full amount of $70 has been entered automatically. Use the tab key on your computer keyboard until the cursor lands on the second line. Next, 
enter into the description field your first transaction. I will enter three cartons of copy paper as listed on my invoice. In the transfer field, I will assign this transaction to office supplies. In the deposit field, the full invoice amount was also entered automatically when I clicked on the split button on the toolbar. I need to change it so that it reflects the actual cost of the purchase price of this transaction. I am entering the three cartons of copy paper. I will enter $45. Now this next step is very important and can make or break this split transaction. Do not, I repeat, do not hit the enter key. Instead use the tab key on your computer keyboard to move to the next field. Once you tab past the last field, a new line will appear. Since I only have two transactions for this particular invoice I am entering, I will enter on the new line my second transaction postage stamps into the description field. Next, I will tab to the transfer account field and I will sign this transaction to postage and delivery. Next, I will tab to the deposit field. Here, the system has already entered the balance amount left from the full invoice amount of $70. In my case, the balance of $25 that was automatically entered is correct. If the amount does not reflect the actual cost as shown on your invoice or receipt for the particular transaction you are entering, you can change it here. Use the tab method to add any additional lines you need to enter your full list of invoice or receipt transactions. Once you are satisfied with your entries and that the correct transaction amounts are entered into the deposit fields, go ahead and click on the enter key on the toolbar or use the enter key on your computer keyboard to record the split transaction. The split transaction is recorded and the word split transaction is displayed. To view the details of the split transaction on the toolbar, click on view, then select auto split ledger. Now you can see the details of the split transaction. To go back to the basic view, select the view menu again. This time select basic ledger. Now back on the chart of account screen, the split has been recorded and the $500 deposit in the checking account has been reduced by the $70 expense transaction and the balance is now $430. Check out my description below for helpful information and links and update on the topic of my next video. If you have any comments, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments section.